This is part 13 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss different conditional statements that are available in JavaScript. JavaScript code is executed in a linear fashion, that is from the first line to the last line. If for some reason you want to interrupt that flow and execute certain statements only if certain condition is met, then we use conditional statements. JavaScript has got these conditional statements if, if else, if, else, if, else, switch and ternary operators. Ternary operator is actually a shortcut for if else statement. Let's look at a few examples now. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So what we want to do is prompt the user to enter a number. So we are going to make use of this prompt function. So what is this function going to do? It's going to display a script prompt dialog box to the end user into which he can enter the number. So this function has got two parameters. The first parameter is the message that we want to display to the end user. So we want to display to the user this message, please enter a number. And the second parameter is the default string. Just in case if the end user did not enter any number into the text box, then what do you want as the default back? We want a default string, which is an empty string. Now, whatever number the end user has entered into the prompt dialog box, that will be returned by this prompt function in text format. So let's convert that to a number. And for that, we are going to make use of number function. So whatever this prompt function is going to return, we are passing that to this number function. And this function is going to convert that into a number format. And let's store that in a variable. And let's call that user input. Now, let's use the if statement here. If user input is equal to 1. So if that condition is true, then we want to display to the end user your number is 1. Now let's make three copies of this condition. If user input is equal to 2, then we want to print this message, your number is 2. If user input is 3, then we want to print this message, your number is 3. Now, if user input is not equal to 1, and user input is not equal to 2 and user input is not equal to 3. So if it's not equal to 1, 2 and 3 then we want to print a message saying your number is not between 1 and 3. Alright, so let's go ahead and run this program and see if it works the way we expect it to work. Now let's go ahead and enter number 3. Click OK. So it should display the message your number is 3. Now let's reload this web form and enter number 7. And we should get the message your number is not between 1 and 3. So what is this program doing? We ask the user to enter a number. We read that and this prompt function is going to return that as text and this number function is going to convert that to a number and we are storing that in this variable. If the user number is 1 then this condition is true so it will print this message and then does the program terminate after that? No. It's going to check this condition as well. Is user input is equal to 2? No. That will be false so it will not execute that statement and then it will come and check this condition again so that condition will not be true, true and finally it will come and check these conditions and they are not true either and then the program terminates. But if you look at these conditions, these conditions are mutually exclusive. Meaning, if this condition is true, then it is impossible for this condition or this condition or these conditions to be true at the same time. Right? So these are mutually exclusive. Meaning, if the number is 1, it cannot be 2, it cannot be 3, and this condition cannot be true. Okay? So there is no reason to check these conditions if this condition is already true and that's when we use if else if else okay if user input is equal to 1 do this else if user input is equal to 2 do this else if user input is equal to 3 then do this else do this now it will come to the else part only if any of these conditions are not true. 
So if the user input is not 1 or 2 or 3, then it is definitely not a number between 1 and 3. So it is going to come to this else part. So there is no reason again to check these conditions here. So we can get rid of those conditions. So now what's going to happen if the user enters number 1, it comes here, it checks, okay, is 1 is equal to 1. That is true. It prints this message and the program will terminate. It will not check again all these three conditions. So from a performance standpoint, this version of the program is much better than the previous one. So anytime you have mutually exclusive conditions, make sure you use if else if statements rather than multiple if statements. In our next video, we'll discuss switch and ternary operators. Thank you for listening and have a great day.